The footwear industry is seeing a jumpstart in technology. Nike's hyper-adapt made self-lacing shoes a reality. Adidas's future craft introduced 3D printing with comfort. And now Reebok's Liquid Factory is making intricate, lightweight designs, along with the company's 100% recyclable footwear line, cotton and corn. This is our 3D printing lab. Bill McGinnis is head of Reebok Future. Liquid Factory is a way to get away from using molds like every other shoe in the market does uh, and draw the bottom of the shoe instead. So this is like 3D printing, only much, much faster. It's an effort to streamline production and keep up with younger consumers. The big goal is to go from we're going to make a million pairs of one shoe in the exact same type and hope everybody likes it, and that was kind of the old model. And now we're moving to smaller and smaller batches, 10,000 instead of 100,000. And as you get tighter and tighter, you can get closer and closer to custom. And how is that a benefit to Reebok? What are the benefits of new manufacturing? So you can get a lot faster, so you can react much more quickly to consumers. Reebok isn't alone. Parent company Adidas and rivals Nike and Under Armour have also moved into the 3D printed sneaker game. But Reebok's liquid factory material is proprietary. The process uses computer software and robotics to draw shoes in three dimensions. We're actually faster than the old model right now. So each bottom unit takes a couple minutes to put together. And again, it's all automated. Adidas bought Reebok in 2006 for $3.8 billion and in 2010 began a turnaround to reposition it as a fitness brand by signing a partnership with CrossFit. But Reebok today is the one unit that remains unprofitable. Still, Adidas says it's committed to the future of Reebok and moved its headquarters from the Boston suburbs to downtown this year. The spirit of the company has changed dramatically. I mean, we were always a very established shoe brand. Moving down here, being in the excitement of this district, I think has the whole place feeling like a startup. It does feel like a startup, breathing new life into its classic white leather sneaker. Anne Mostu, Bloomberg, Boston.